Okay, I hope the uh, horizontal works this time. Uh, maybe I should turn it this way. Yeah, would it work? I'm not sure. Let me uh, do the expo exploration of my acquired Lego pieces today. These are totally free. I've only spent uh, some time and effort in achieving them. Not a penny has been spent on these. Let's take a, class, a closer look. I might have turned off the uh, flash. I wonder if I could um, turn it on while I'm taking the film. Maybe not. I don't know. What's AF? AF off? What is this? What's AF? I don't know what AF is, but uh, on the screen on the left hand corner, it's just the AF button uh, just turned up. I don't know what this is. Uh, let me just go through uh, here. A balloon for kids. Even after wash, it's still kind of sticky and some dust from the white towel. Uh, the flesh is on. Maybe I have just left it on. Um, uh, Garbage. Some wheels. Very nice. Uh, these are quite much. Um, I've realized that when I put them into this bag, um, quite handy. I mean, like uh, qu quite a bunch of um, almost uh, half, uh, over half uh, of the uh, the bag has been filled with it. Uh, quite big. I think it's pretty much about uh, over one kilo or maybe one kilo. Trans... Trans green? Is that? Okay, it's just a simple trans green... Um, bionicle piece over there. So, it's a couple of bionicles I saw. And some Legend Kima series. You know those uh, small... Uh, release? Uh, series that have released like a, a Kima legend kind of thing. So I saw there was some wolf, gorilla, a bird, eagle Ares or something, and a crocodile, and wolf and uh, what do you call those things? Other things like wolf. Similar things like five or seven or six, uh, uh, seven, uh, Ah, after a full meal, I uh, can't even pronounce properly. So the bionicle uh, breastplate, I kind of realized this is a fake. Uh, that's okay. So some bionicle and eagle, le uh, some uh, Kima Legend series. Uh, that's pretty much it over here. I found one minifigure of Gorilla, Kima Gorilla. One minifigure over there. Uh, I uh, separated the head. So it should be uh, running around somewhere here. Uh, this printed piece, very, um, I'm not particularly, uh, um, crazy about this, but it's great that I got it for free. And, uh, one thing I wanted to tell, uh, Lego company, please stop making sticker um, in the box. I mean, like, it's uh, something about the quality or issue over here. I mean, like, I want to sh shout out as just one individual over here, uh, individual customer. I mean, this that's one of the reasons I stopped purchasing Lego, new set Lego boxes at the shops anymore. One of the reasons. The other reason is, um, I'll tell you later about it, but, uh, sticker? I mean, seriously. I mean, uh, for example, let's compare those two things over here. This is sticker. So according to customer like me or like it depends. Some people are very meticulous like me would uh, probably uh, do my best to put the sticker right in the center and put some quite a lot of effort in uh, making the balance like to make it even and right in the center. Like, But lots of other customers like you know most of them are just kids and then this is what happens like uh, crooked and not 
uh, well located. Um, pretty much of those things, I would have to peel it up and do the restickering again. Um, printed pieces, even if it's, I mean, like this is not only sticker, but this is something. I mean, <laughs> the texture. Ah, I could feel the texture. I mean, um, I don't have to worry about like the sticker getting peeled off. This is like a permanent printed um, piece, something interesting. I mean, like I, I wouldn't want to spend uh, any dollar on purchasing uh, those uh, Legend Kima series because this is kind of like kitty stuff, like kind of childish. But uh, get getting these kind of stuff for free is a wonderful thing. It's cool. So, let's, uh, alright. Um, let me just uh, check on... Uh, Basically, what I got here, it should be about kilo. Um, even if, uh, even though I got them for free, I will probably um, pack them up uh, when they're dried up and uh, uh, do some. I mean, like, um, would still uh, put put in some effort in uh, bringing them personally over to the shop and weigh them on the scale and check check out how exactly what what is the the weight. Of those acquired pieces, uh, I wonder if the uh, the focus is still working good. I hope so. Um, yeah. All right. I'm just holding my camera on the right hand and hovering over those Lego pieces. Now the bionicle face, uh, something like that, and uh, this color lavender, I guess, of chest, uh, the lid, and the bottom very special for me as i've just picked it up on the ground somewhere in the bush and uh oh even even a short brimmed hat ah oh, this is a fake one ah what a shame but anyway this i would <clears throat> i would i could probably find some good place to put them in uh put put into put it into good use i mean like i think i needed this one in the per um in my re uh, the requirement for my set somewhere let's see about that because I also am targeting a Lego friends set um, some friends set for restoration anyway what I want to shout out to Lego company is stop producing I mean please stop producing uh, sticker sets it's a matter of quality, actually. Like, you know, in a box, you just put in a, a piece of shit of um, the sticker inside the box, just throw it in, and that's it. Um, I mean, like, seriously, come on. Sticker is not permanent. Uh, it just peels off, like, as time goes on, and it, it won't stay there. I mean, like this one right here. I got it for free, so I can't complain, but um, see how uh, those... Uh, People just, I mean, carelessly attach on it. <clears throat> so it's a bit on the, a little bit on the left, lefty, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say this. Uh, it's a bit on the left side. <laughs> the other one right here, see, uh, on the upper right hand corner the sticker sticker is already kind of crumpled so this kind of leaves a very bad look um <clears throat> one by two plate trans uh trans yellow one by two plate um kind of rare i mean i'm 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 glad i got this uh slope one by three uh something like that Slope, genuine slope, good. Uh, lots of threads here. <clears throat> um, you know, seven o Star Wars seven o seven five zero one five or something. What, what was the name of it? Uh, droid tank. Uh, these are required for that set, and I'm glad I've got these. Uh, a lot of them actually. I think I need still need about like hundred more. <laughs> That's okay. I'll get my hands on them eventually. Some bionicle parts here. Oh, uh, this is very interesting. We got a metal, met, metallic silver one by one plate of uh, four o seven zero. Is it four o seven zero? This is metallic silver. 
let me just put it down there and uh, see if the focus works. Yes, this is how it works. So it's uh, basically pretty much it uh, that the um, the previous owner of these uh, thrown away parts owned a couple of Bionicle set and some two or three uh, Beast Legend sets. That's it. Uh, it's not much, but that's okay. Right over here. The trunk of elephant trunk kind of piece right here in tan color. It is, this is kind of special for me. I mean, uh, this is kind of rare. And I believe this came in with the set of a wolf uh, legend beast thing. So I'll check it out later. All the pieces right here, even though it was in the garbage, they are quite um, squared and not tattered. I mean, pretty much white. I mean, like, not a tanned or yellowed. Um, the, the quality of them, even though they are garbage, uh, they, um, after I wash them, I mean, even before I wash them, it looked quite new or clean or a bit oily in the beginning because uh, the, it was mixed with the the other garbage like or bottle of uh, some oil or shampoo or something like that so i i uh, had a lot of trouble uh, wiping them off um, on my hand because it was kind of slippery so i had a hard time uh, separating them <clears throat> some sticker parts right here like as you can see the sticker is not exactly attached right in the center of this two by two round tile here another one right here uh this is this is not sticker anyway okay so this is um gives me um i mean seriously <laughs> once again please stop i mean the, it, it's a matter of quality if uh you if the company wants to remain as uh you know like the one thing one special thing about the lego company as a company is is that the um i mean everybody would think that it's the best quality and this is a matter of quality right here. I mean, no more stickers, please. I mean, this a lot of LEGO fans in the world would want uh, the same thing, like for the company to stop producing a set with the uh, stickers. But this is only a small <coughs> shout out from an individual somewhere in the um, out there in the world. But so I don't know. <coughs> we'll see about that. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, interesting looking uh, wing part of some Bionicle set here. I, uh, have another one somewhere out there. Uh, I already have lots of these anyway, so, like, I, I, I uh, even have some leftover loose parts, so... Uh, no particular thing for me. It's a bit crumpled right here, so I will have to work on, uh, making it flat again. I don't know how to do this at the moment. Other piece of sticker thing. Probably a Ninjago or Kima. No, probably Ninjago. Some Technic brick. That's good. These and <clears throat> some of the bricks right here. These are not even Lego. These are something, some other uh, kinds of toys. Um, supposed to be there. So... This is a small tour of what I have acquired today. Um, interesting, I uh, got this. I, uh, th the first time I saw it on the garbage, I thought it was some kind of lid of shampoo or something. <laughs> but uh, fortunately, it turned out to be a Lego piece right here. Uh, this is kind of rare for me. I mean, I don't have much of um, these kind of... Is it really Lego piece? I mean, does it even have a logo? Uh, or uh, some signature, I mean, uh, what do you call this thing anyway? I'm, I'm, I keep calling them logo, but uh, some other people say something like... I forgot, um, I'll uh, come up with it later. Anyway, brand, mark, something like that. So that's pretty much it for the small uh, look around. Uh, of what I have acquired today. All right, um, uh, this one, a uh, slope one by two by three, fl um, uh, how do you say this? Forty-five degree or something? I mean, it's kind. Ah, uh, it was well, these kind of uh, things were used in lots of classic airplane 
uh, set in 70s or 80s, I, I believe. And now we have it in a 10 color. It was used to be like white or yellow or before. Uh, we have 10, we have a 10 one with the new, um, invention of like Legend Beast set, set a new set a release. Uh, this is something good about the Lego company. Uh, like as they produce something new, the new mold, even new pieces, uh, some old pieces in new color, uh, or even the same, exactly the same old pieces that has been stopped produced uh, and they uh, release it again because they have to because uh, with the uh, uh, as the designer designs something new and then they uh, the old pieces are still required in some particular sets I mean this is a regeneration of the old uh, uh, piece um, coming back this is a uh, great news for me because uh, most of the uh, things that I am uh, wanting to um, rebuild our old sets. I'm um, pretty much um, into old stuff. So I have pretty much uh, dried them up and uh, sold them because I still have some fake parts like maybe about 10% I figured uh, mixed somewhere in here so I would have to do the sorting thing from now on. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Goodbye.